Hey there, fellow chess enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the exciting world of chess strategies, tactics, and mind-blowing moves. Whether you're a chess prodigy or just looking to learn the ropes, you're in for a treat today. Grab your favorite snacks and let's unravel the mysteries of the game. Today, in this riveting encounter between Ikwem underscore Nazir, playing white, and JD Engel, playing black, on chess.com, every move mirrors life's choices, the art of patient strategy versus seizing the moment. The game kicked off with 1. F4, a bold move that sets the stage for a lively exchange of ideas. Just as in life, sometimes we take risks to gain an advantage. Black answered with 1. E5, mirroring the audacity of taking a leap in pursuit of something greater. Certainly, let's explore the intriguing bird's opening, specifically focusing on the from's gambit with the moves 1, f4, e5. The bird's opening is characterized by the move 1, f4, which immediately takes control of the central e5 square and prepares for quick piece development. This opening allows for flexibility in the game, as players can transpose into various pawn structures and setups. In the specific line known as from's gambit, 1, f4, e5, Black offers a pawn sacrifice in exchange for active piece play and the opportunity to disrupt White's pawn structure. Let's break down the key strategic considerations behind these moves. 1. Pawn center control. White's move 1. F4 immediately stakes a claim on the central E5 square. This can lead to a strong pawn center if White follows up with D2 D4. However, it also leaves the E4 square temporarily vulnerable. 2. Dynamic Pawn Sacrifice Black's response with 1. E5 is known as the From's Gambit. By sacrificing the E5 pawn, Black aims to quickly mobilize their pieces and create imbalances on the board. This approach is more aggressive, seeking counterplay and tactical opportunities. 3. Peace Development The Gambit spirit prompts both sides to prioritize peace development. Black intends to bring out the knight on F6 and possibly challenge White's center. Meanwhile, White can choose between various setups, including the knight's development to f3 or c3, and the bishop's placement on c4 or g5. 4. Central imbalances. The pawn structure after 1, f4 e5 results in an open position with imbalanced pawn formations. Black's central pawn duo on d7 and e5 can put pressure on White's pawn on e4. This imbalance leads to dynamic play and chances for both sides. 5. Initiative and Counterplay. The From's Gambit provides Black with the initiative and the chance to dictate the flow of the game. It can catch White off guard and lead to tactical skirmishes. White, on the other hand, needs to handle the extra pawn cautiously and avoid overextending. 6. Variation Knowledge. Familiarity with the ensuing positions and tactics is crucial. Both sides need to be prepared to handle the potential complications that arise from the Gambit. Insights. The From's Gambit in the Bird's opening exemplifies the idea of sacrificing material for active piece play and dynamic imbalances. It emphasizes that chess is not just about material accumulation, but also about strategic harmony and tactical opportunities. Both players need to be well versed in the positions and the underlying concepts to navigate this exciting opening successfully. Continue to the game. As the game unfolded, 2. E3 continued the theme of calm and calculated play. White opted for a more positional approach, solidifying the structure much like building a sturdy foundation in life. Black, with 2, F5, seemed to choose a more flexible, tactical approach. Here we witness 3, G3, a move reminiscent of a strategic retreat in real life. White's knight, 4, NC3, advanced like a calculated step towards a long-term goal. Black's 4, EXF4 demonstrated a willingness to embrace immediate tactical opportunities, akin to seizing a chance in a fleeting moment. Amidst this captivating battle, each player danced between positional and tactical moves. White's 6, D4, a central thrust, highlighted the essence of seizing control over the board. Black's 7, NC6, just like making a cautious choice, demonstrated readiness to adapt and defend. As the game progressed, White's 10. QF3 embodied a tactical decision that also carried a long-term plan, a strategic analogy to making short-term gains while still keeping the bigger picture in mind. In the closing moves, the game's climax mirrored life's critical crossroads. 
White's 11, OOO revealed the essence of castling for safety, a protected maneuver akin to safeguarding our dreams. The final blow, 13. QF7, was a spectacular checkmate, capturing the essence of seizing a fleeting opportunity with precision. What an exhilarating game, just as life demands the wisdom to choose between the immediate thrill and the long-term plan, this game beautifully depicts the interplay of positional and tactical moves. Certainly, let's extract the valuable lessons from this intriguing chess game and delve into the strategic considerations that can enhance our understanding. Lessons 1. Balanced Development Both players in this game demonstrated the importance of balanced development. White and Black focused on peace mobilization and pawn structure rather than rushing into tactics. This approach allowed them to create harmonious positions and be ready for any challenges that arose. Lessons 2. Positional versus Tactical The game highlighted the delicate balance between positional play and tactical opportunities. Players must be vigilant in recognizing when to prioritize peace activity and when to uphold the integrity of their position. The game's conclusion with a tactical checkmate emphasized that a well-developed position can pave the way for tactical fireworks. Lessons 3. Foresight in pawn moves. The player's pawn moves had significant consequences on the center and peace activity. Each pawn move created a ripple effect that influenced future options. This demonstrates the necessity of considering the long-term implications of pawn advances. Lessons 4. Coordination and Harmony. Both sides exhibited good peace coordination. Developing pieces in a coordinated manner ensures that they support each other's objectives and can be smoothly repositioned based on changing circumstances. Lessons 5. King Safety. White's king side castling and black's d7 move showed awareness of king safety. Castling early can provide a safe haven for the king and connect rooks, while other moves defended the king against potential threats. Lessons 6. Calculative Tactics. The game concluded with a tactical shot, exploiting the vulnerable position of Black's king. This reinforces the importance of calculating deeply and being aware of tactical possibilities, especially in the latter stages of the game. Lessons 7. Learning from every move, analyzing games, even shorter ones, provides valuable insights into decision-making and strategy. Each move return a player's thought process, intentions, and choices. By dissecting each move, players can learn from their own games and those of others. This game underscores the essence of a patient, thoughtful approach to chess. It showcases that sound development, recognizing tactical opportunities, and maintaining a strong position are essential for success. Understanding when to shift from positional considerations to tactical sequences is a skill that comes with experience. By studying games like this, players can sharpen their intuition and enhance their strategic decision-making abilities. Viewers, remember that chess and life often intertwine, finding the balance between seizing the moment and patiently strategizing. And that's a wrap, folks. I hope you enjoyed this chess adventure as much as I did. Remember, chess is all about learning, improving, and having a blast while doing it. If you've got a game you want us to analyze or any burning chess questions, don't be shy. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, or even better, send in your games for analysis. Let's keep this conversation going and continue to outwit our opponents on the board. Until next time, keep those kings and queens safe, and keep playing smart.